Hello and welcome to a demo review. Today we'll be reviewing TTJC, Eels, uh, Short, he's named himself. His current rank is DMG and uh, looking through his demo I've noticed uh, that we're going to be looking at certain angles and how to approach uh, certain areas on cash. One being B and the other being door on cash. Um, I'm going to just explain where he's going wrong and uh, try and improve the certain areas on how to approach those certain areas. It's really important to kind of give a good indication of how to approach these areas because uh, looking through the demo, he's definitely going towards B and mostly door as the team player on this side of uh, matchmaking. So we're going to be kicking it straight off and looking into uh, his play on uh, B side. So we're going to be looking on, see what he does here. So he buys the AK and moves into going on this side now. So I believe he actually goes door side this time. Uh, I thought I remember correctly. Yep, so he goes towards uh, door and uh, we're going to just have a look how he approaches this area. So he does quite a nice smoke. I've never actually seen this smoke before, which I thought was really, really quite impressive. Uh, so we're just going to have a look at this quickly and have a look what he does. Look, the smoke goes over here and lands onto quad box, which I thought was really, really impressive. So the way you're approaching this door at the moment is really kind of not the good thing to do because you're basically giving your position away. I don't know why you're tapping away at the door so much. It's really kind of unnecessary. You want to just creep up there. I know your teammates are very close up. So in this instance, you just want to run and straight away uh, just really get rid of anything around door and upper. So you really want to just forget the shooting so much and approach the actual site straight away. Um, so you just want to creep up. This shooting like this is unnecessary. It doesn't do any damage. It just gives your position away essentially. So now Bullet knows that your door, he's ready for you, and this actually hinders your gameplay. So yeah, see, preempting, spamming, he knows you're there, and you open the door. In this case, you can spray now. So you can spray this uh, the left-hand side of the door, trying to get the guy on a site, because they're normally waiting for you to come out the door. So th at this time, you can actually preempt the spray and try and get them. This flash um, is kind of obvious. They will definitely be prepared for that. They'll be waiting for that actual, uh, that actual flashbang. So realistically, doing that is not going to be any benefit to you. In this instance, you kind of go backwards on yourself. So you really want to actually help your teammates more so. I know probably a lot of them are suffering from behind and stuff. Like, you know, you've got your, your Russian friend here, but he's covering off that side. So you don't really need to hold back and check what's going on behind you so much. Realistically, you want to make sure that you're sticking to your guns, really. Like, if unless you really, you know, you've agreed with your teammate that you're falling back, then that's fine. But in this instance, you, you kind of go back on yourself, which is a really, really odd thing to do. I wouldn't recommend doing this. You need to make sure that if you're sticking to a certain position, you're going to go for it. It's very important that you do this, but just because, you know, you want to make sure your presence is there. Your teammate, unfortunately, got slaughtered because they were able to push him. And maybe if you were a door, you may be, be able to cover him. So... Making sure that you stick to door is very, very important. What we're going to do uh, very shortly is go over how to approach door uh, in the way I would and uh, just explain a few things that I would like to do when I approach door. That smoke you did was very good, but um, it needed to be coordinated with other smokes uh, that your teammates needed to do. So in this instance here, uh, we'll be going over how you approach B and see where it goes wrong particularly. Uh, we'll just try and focus on your teammates and just see how the smokes go down and see how you approach these certain area. In this instance, you have uh, the AK, so that should be fine. And uh, you're going to just do... So in this instance, you really want to do an early flash. You want to do a nice early pop flash, which bounces off the left-hand wall, which I'll show you very shortly on how to do. Down smoke. So that your teammate did it there, but uh, was very inefficient you know you did a very short flash that would do no effect to actual teammates uh, to the enemy so you get a very nice early pick there that's very good and successful so you got a nice entry and uh, you can kind of continue in this instance your teammates smokes it effectively and uh, you need to get ready you push the site now here you kind of sit yourself in pit and this is really a bad thing to do. I know you're blind but you need to keep moving because you're basically a sitting duck in this instance. 
Uh, it's good to hold from a CT, but sitting in pits is really, really risky business for you. And unfortunately, that's where you get picked out on. So we're going to go over now how to approach B correctly, um, how I would approach it anyway, and uh, give you just a few tips and hints to really approach the site effectively. Okay, so we're going to pop into the game, and, uh, go over A, door, and B site for you. So now that we've looked at uh, how you approach A and the kind of manner that you took it, I like the smoke that you did for quad box, that was very good. Um, however, you kind of approach door in a manner that I would not want to do it myself. I prefer to definitely sneak up there, make sure my presence is not known until very uh, late on. Uh, you, basically, the way you were approaching it beforehand was you kind of ran up, giving you a lot of sound away, and then started preemptively shooting. Uh, this effectively does nothing. There's no damage basically through this door. You can't spam through this quad box with an AK. So it's really, really kind of unnecessary to do those shots that you're doing. Instead, what you want to do is you want to make sure that no one pushes. You want to basically flash like this and flash the corner. So you basically stop them from rushing. Then you can kind of like preemptively sit here and uh, wait for them to push the door. If no one pushes door when you're holding this angle, you can start creeping through. Start creeping through, making sure that this area is clear. Once your teammates are ready at main, then you open the door. Open the door, check upper, check short, check forklift. Once those areas are clear and you've either died or killed them, you can then set a smoke away in the corner. You can set yourself back here, aim for this bit of red, just throw a smoke here, and this will smoke off crossover if your teammates have not done that already. Ready. So this may basically cuts off short effectively, so all you have to do is watch upper and watch forklift. Once your teammates are ready, you can do a nice pop flash here, and this will flash out onto a site, and then you then you can approach the door. Once the door is open and your teammates are main or maybe smoked off, you can actually spam here, this side of the door, and where this will go is onto where this guy will be holding. So people like to hold this angle waiting for you by door, and if you preemptively shoot to hit that side of the door, that can actually really hurt them and actually overall kill them. So you want to kind of spam here and stop them from pushing out. Once you've got that smoke down, you want to basically curve yourself around, which I saw you do. You want to check MBK, move over, you know, check MBK, flick, make sure no one's quad, make sure no one's sight, and then kind of move over and approach the site effectively. Once you're held it down, you just want to basically make sure you're hanging around quad box and ensure that the site is clear. And uh, that's it really. You really got that secure and that's how to approach the door effectively. Okay, so what we're going to do now is move over to B and explain how would I approach B uh, in from very different manners from what you did to yourself. So we're going to go pop onto B and show you that. Now, how to approach B. So initially, I saw your teammate do a very short flash, which was not good. But realistically, the way I like to flash is either doing this flash here, which will just flash them straight away, and you can turn and like turn and run with it, or you can do this flash here, which will pop flash area effectively straight away or you can do this flash which will effectively just bounce off and you can turn and that will do quite a deep flash the one where your teammate did it was very short ended but you want to make sure that it's at least landing in this area if you pop the flash here this is for stopping the AWPer so if there's an AWPer here you can stop them from approaching you um, and it's really quite effective to stop them doing the initial peak and that means you can strafe out and get them once you've kind of got yourself here, and if there's a smoke here, if there's a smoke here, don't bother creeping it through. Don't bother creeping through here. That's no point at all. You, what you want to do is get to checkers. You really want to get yourself to checkers. That's the main area that you want to get yourself to. So what I'll do, if there is smoke here, perfect. You want to make sure that you can strafe over, check that area, and then get headshot. Get headshot, make sure this area is clear. Check the left side. Once that side is clear of you, you've been, you know, you've killed them, you want to smoke here. Smoke the CT if it's not been done already, but I'm sure one of your teammates will do it. But your main focus is really clearing off headshot, because it's the most common place that people stand. And then checking the site, and then approaching it effectively. So what I'll do, I'll normally make sure the guy headshots isn't clear. Then go kind of moving over through CT and try and approach the site from this side. Once you've approached the site from this side, plant here. You've got the plant down successfully, excellent. Hold down the site, and I'd like to jump on this box, check upper, uh, unless your teammates are down. Then you just want to make sure you play quite passive and uh, set yourself close against these boxes. 
using as much cover as possible. Don't go to pit. Pit is very, very exposed from upper and CT. They can instantly headshot you, and it's a really, really dangerous position. Hopefully this has helped you out anyway, and uh, if you have any feedback, please leave it down in the bottom. And until next time, bye-bye.